Yay! Hello everyone, I'm coming to you semi-live. Today we have another desk video, another interesting thing. Take a look at this, take a look at this, okay? Goodwill 399, The Sims 3 PC. I had to pick this up for 399. We walked in there 15 minutes before closing, I saw this by the DVDs, I was like, yes. I have an admission, I have never played The Sims. My mom is super into The Sims 4, she has like every DLC or something, or like a lot of them. And I think The Sims 3 is highly regarded because of the lack of DRM, I think. I might be wrong. The system requirements, I will show really quickly on here if you can see that. Very interesting stuff. And I have been so impatient to take off this sticker because I wanted to leave it on for the video so I could show you guys that it's real, but now I'm going to take it off and it's ripping off, so I'm not going to. $3.99, it's not that crazy of a find, but I figured I'd show it either way. This has at least most of the stuff included. There's no key or anything, so it doesn't really matter and the disc is in fine condition. What's up guys? And in case you noticed something, it says Win Mac on there, which is very peculiar because today we're going to be trying something new. This is my 2012 13 inch MacBook Pro, which I am just now realizing I don't have OBS installed on. You're just gonna have to deal with this view, I'm sorry. I was working on another video, but I kind of put a pause in it. It was to do Fallout New Vegas on this computer, on a Mac. Funny, I installed Windows 7 on the hard drive as well. So if I hold option right now, it will give me a boot menu. I'm going to choose Windows. We're going to do the Windows one first. I think we're going to try both. I think it'll be funny. So let's boot into Windows 7 and let's see what's up with this disk. While this is loading, let's take a look at this. And by the way, in case you don't know, this is like officially supported on older MacBooks with Intel processors. It was called Boot Camp. And I'm able to do Windows 7 with official drivers and like all this stuff because this is an old enough processor, basically. It's a second gen i5 mobile processor. And this is basically a clean install. I don't think I've done anything besides driver installs. So look at this, $10 free of SIM points, a sheet with just key commands, which is interesting, and the main manual as well. This is printed in black and white. Boo, cool stuff. Uh oh, do I have battery? Okay, we gotta go quick. I'm just gonna go, let's go. Put it in, go! There also might be some quirks that I am not prepared for because I'm very inexperienced when it comes to Windows 7. Run autorun.exe, yes. Select the language, English, Sims 3. I'm just so curious if this is a valid way to play the Sims 3 in 2024. United States of America, I accept. Enter the registration code found in your confirmation email. It says it might be in the game manual, let's see. Oh, I do have it, I do have it, I have it. Look, 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 I have it. Typical install, install. We are now installing The Sims 3. I've seen so many programs and games install through just like a typical Windows installer, like just like an MSI, and it just like looks the same every time. So even just seeing like a few graphics right here and just like some pictures is very cool. It's a very nice touch. So I'm very appreciative of this so far. And seriously, I think the battery is going to die while doing this. So I need to go get the charger. I hope it reaches. Check this out, MagSafe. If only you could do this on like an M3 MacBook, that would be so cool. Or even the M1, just have like easy boot camp. I know parallels exist, but it's not the same. It sucks. While this is installing, I'm gonna try to get the sticker off. That DVD drive is just spinning away. I gotta say, the, the Apple Super Drives are built different. Like they're so loud and fast, it's funny. I'm gonna have to use some alcohol or something. Which actually, I just realized, I have some. Wait, I've learned this mistake too many times. If you ever need to remove a sticker, take out everything first. Because because it will get ruined. So if you mess up, so take everything out and then clean it. That is my, that's my tech tip. This is very dangerous though. I'm gonna put it over here. Dip it in. This also works with hand sanitizer as well if you're like really poor or something. I used to have a big surplus of hand sanitizer. I just drenched the sticker in alcohol using this Q-tip and now it's peeling off way easier. You can see there's still some residue but I'm just gonna do more layers of alcohol and it should come off. And yeah, it's mostly gone now. And honestly, that works so much better than hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is watered down and it has some other stuff in it, so it's always better to use alcohol if you have it. I've never used Goo Gone, but I just don't trust it. It seems too powerful or like sticky or like weird, like I don't know. I've never used it though, so if anybody can vouch for Goo Gone, I would appreciate it. It might also be expensive though. Like at that point, like I'd rather get alcohol. Alcohol is more multi-purpose, I think. Very happy. Here, quickly check out my shirt. Look at this. I like that. To help out my audience retention time, I'm not gonna make any more commentary until it's done installing. I'm sorry for being boring. Time lapse. <laughs> Very 
very interesting. EA Download Manager. Click Finish to exit the wizard. Let's just go. Sims 3, let's just go. Welcome. Downloads, updates. Okay, version 1.0.631.0001. That is what I have. Play! There's a hair on my screen. <sighs> OMG. There's more shit on my screen. Oh, I can skip it. Oh wow. Select the town, Sunset Valley. I'm not actually gonna play this. I just wanna boot it up and see how it is. Okay, it looks like it's rendering fine. I've never played The Sims. Well, it's not perfect, but it's definitely... Oh, you have to double click. I'm gonna be a master of the arts. I just wanna get into like the house and like see how it runs. Choose a place to live. Oh, this sucks with the trackpad. Purchase. This sucks with the trackpad. Don't play this with the trackpad. This is my fault, I know. It's also like in tutorial mode, so... But I mean, hey, it's running fine. If you wanna play Sims 3 on a 2012 MacBook Pro, it's gonna work. Okay, it's gonna work. It's gonna work on Windows. What happens if I eject it right now? Oh, I don't think it will because it's in Windows. Okay, wait. I don't know if I can right click in Windows. I have a mouse right here, but it's for my normal PC. So, uh, I just look like an idiot right now. Okay, I'm just gonna shut down. We're gonna do it in Mac OS now. Honestly, I like Windows 7. It's cute, but I hate Windows 11. It's just so ugly. I just hate it. I hate all the bloat. I love this DVD. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's like shiny. I don't know if it comes up on camera, but it's shiny. It's cute. I like it. Okay, the disc is already in there. I just remembered. So, it's just just gonna instantly go. Mac OS, Mac OS, here we go, here we go. Sims 3, the Sims 3 installer. I'm installing Sims 3 twice, that's how stupid I am. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's for science. I need the key again. Anybody wants my Sims 3 key? I already showed it, but I'll show it again. There it is. Just don't go online with it. Now we get to see if it's faster on Windows or on Mac or if it's the same because the DVD drive is the same. I don't know. Error installing file. The Sims 3 failed to install. First of all, I'll say I'm on El Capitan 10.11. I'm not even on a really new OS. This is the oldest I was willing to go. Or I mean, this is the newest I was willing to go, sorry. Mac OS really fell off for me, I'm not gonna lie. I liked Big Sur. Do I try it again? I don't know. I'm gonna try it again. I have to type in the whole key again. I don't want to. Ugh, I don't want to. Okay, maybe I just have to choose this other drive. Installing files, 237 files. It might be cooking, I don't know. There's a progress bar, so you know what that means. <gasps> time lapse! Actually, I'm gonna disconnect from Wi Fi first. Time lapse! The Sims 3 has been successfully installed. This application uses right mouse button functionality, which is not configured by default on Mac OS X. Okay, so now what? Do I just look up Sims? The Sims 3. Let's play it. This looks similar. I think there's less buttons. Play! I wonder if it'll be in 4.3 in the same graphics again. I saw some screen tearing already. Um, it looks the same so far. The disk drive is still spinning up a lot, which is a little bit concerning because the game should be installed, so I don't know. I'm trying to gauge how this looks and feels compared to the Windows version. Here we go. Why does it look like that? Exit tutorial. I gotta be honest, the animations feel a little bit smoother in the Mac OS version. I might have gotten some drivers wrong in the Windows install, but like this feels smoother. There's definitely screen tearing. I don't know if there's graphics options you can adjust. Ooh. Okay, let's go full screen. 60 hertz. Low, low, low. Please restart the game after applying. I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay. Man, that screen tearing is really bothering me. I'm very sensitive to that. Oh, the screen tearing is so bad. This feels a little bit smoother, surprisingly. I don't know if like, I'm not, I didn't do my research. I don't know if like there's like a Sims 3 community that's like, the Mac OS version sucks, or the Windows version sucks, you must use this update, like, I don't know, I don't know. This is just for fun, this is just seeing if it's a valid way to play. And, one more thing, what happens when I eject it? This is the disc. Sims 3 disc, it's out. The Sims 3 disc is in the case. It's not even in the computer. And I think the game is still working. Can I go to, like, the main menu? Save and quit. Yes. Oh, the game crashed. I don't know if that's because I took the disc out or what, but the game crashed. Just based on that first impression, I'd say you're fine with either version of the game. Probably go with Windows just because it's more supported, I would guess. Like if you're gonna do mods or like cheats or something, there's probably more options for Windows because more people are playing on Windows, but very cool. I'm so glad that installed and I'm very happy that it's offline, seriously. Another valid disc, another game that you can play off the DVD.
It's around the same time as Fallout 3, so maybe that should make sense to me. You don't have to use Steam or you don't have to use any like online, you know. Very cool. I'm glad we could explore this together. I'm glad I wasted all that hard drive space installing the game twice. Very cool. Will I play Sims 3 in the future? Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of videos I need to make. There's a lot of videos I want to make. I don't know. I don't know anything about The Sims. I think that would be a fun adventure, but it is not an adventure for today. Today was just very fun, and I think that was worth $4 just to explore that very quick on the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video, and uh, peace out. Goodbye. Jimmy,